Now, is this thing on? It is. What up, YouTube viewers, and welcome to Jesus Draws. That's right. You know, it's gonna be another banger when I got a camera in hand, you know? But, anyways, actually, I just wanted to show you guys something super dope. Got the Jesus Art Museum in progress right now. I plan to fill up this whole wall with just art from artists that I admire and my own art. Mainly my art, but you know, I'm gonna purchase other artists' art to put up on this wall. But you know, art can get kind of pricey, so slowly going to add stuff to it. Got those over there, got that one over there. So it's gonna be dope, awesome. But anyways, here we are. In this video, I'm gonna be painting another pair of jeans because you guys seem to like those jean painting videos. And you know, I did this little thing on Instagram where I asked, you know, what should I do on this next pair of jeans? And the, uh, well, actually I said, what well, Pokemon? And you know, I got various responses. I got Jigglypuff, it was Pikachu, Rayquaza, uh, squirtle, but I figured, you know, I might have to go settle with the basic one and go with squirtle on this one. Squirtle, squirtle! But you know, I keep a fresh pair of jeans in the fridge, so you know, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Might as well get in our seat while I'm at it. But anyway, it's gonna be dope. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys like it. And it's about to be super sick. So like, comment, subscribe if you like. Let's get to the painting. All right, so starting off, you know I had to draw out these homies first. I had to cut them out individually. So really, I had to draw these about three times. I drew them once with the pencil, and I outlined them with the marker, and now here I am outlining them again on the pants. And this technique that I use here, the whole process is pretty similar to the one I did with the previous gene customization video, which is uh, Edit and Eddie. And I'll leave a link to that description down below so you can check that out. But here we got Blastoise, and we got War Turtle, and we got Squirtle Squirtle. And I just thought it'd be cool to have them in the back pockets and then have one design in the front. And I want to make them a little bit unique, you know, so they're all doing their own little unique stance. And Blastoise actually stole Ash Ketchum's hat and he's rocking that shit. You know, if Ash tries to get near him, he's about to hydro pump his ass. <laughs> that sounds really wrong. But you know what I mean if you watch the show. If you don't, well... I don't know, I loved Pokemon growing up, it was such a good show. But anyways, when I was making this mixture, I had to do two parts paint, one part uh, textile mixture. Just because, uh, you know, that's apparently supposed to help with this stuff stay on the fabric. But I haven't washed these, so I don't really know if this actually stays. I actually really need to wash these one day. I'll probably, this is probably the pair of jeans that I'll wash. Because if they get ruined, then damn, all that work for nothing. But, you know, one of these pair of jeans or whatever I customize got to get ruined. Or, you know, just see if this stuff actually works and how much washing it actually affects it. But then once that white foundation base paint was laid out, I drew them out again. It's probably the third time right here. So, yeah, it was a total of four times that I redrew these. And here they are, you know, War Turtles watching out. Blastoise is like, hey bro, give me a hug. He looks like he wants a hug or something. But he's got the hat, you know, he's out to be a Pokemon trainer himself, you know. That's kind of weird, he's trying to enslave his own people to fight for him. Because, I mean, like, Ash, being a Pokemon trainer, he's a human. He can just enslave, like, Pokemon to do his shit. That's kind of like, you know, dog fights chicken fights and all that but that'd be weird if like ash had other humans in his pokeball he just was like misty i choose you <laughs> that'd be fucked up that'd be a bad situation 
That'd be like pokey slavery or something. But then, you know, all these blues that I mixed were just mixed with the basic liquid text color and some white. And I try to use every single blue to try to, you know, create shadows for one of the Pokemon because all three evolutions have a different, like, saturated version of blue. Squirtle is more like baby blue, and Blastoise and War Turtle are kind of like a darker blue. I don't really know the proper blue name for them, but we'll just go with that. And personally, I think my favorite of the three might be this dope ass little squirrel in the front with this pair of badass shades, you know? Being like, hey, yo, I'm on a pair of jeans. And then Blastoise, you know, he's just happy he's on the pair of jeans. So he's in the back, War Turtle's like, yeah. I knew it was gonna be on this pair of jeans. You know why? Cause I'm cool as hell. War Turtle is pretty cool. I mean, he's got a pretty badass name. I mean, they all do except Squirrel. It sounds like not very menacing. Then with their bellies, I actually had some a different brand of paints, which is Fine Touch, and I got these for like Christmas or something. It's a yellow medium and a yellow oak. Okri, 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 however you pronounce that. And you know, that helped me make the browns a little bit easier because mixing up like green, blue, and yellow to make brown just took too long. And I just wanted to make a brown that I knew I wasn't gonna just waste paint, so I just used that. Plus, I gotta use them because I don't want, you know, any of my paints to go to waste. I still got them here. And they gotta be used up at some point. And here, you know, putting on some lipstick on Blastoise right here, coloring his red hat that he stole from Ash. This was just a little final part. Try to lay down all the colors first and then, you know, save the line work for last. Sometimes I like to just, you know, get into the line work in the middle of the painting. But on this case, these were a little bit more easier cartoons. Like just straight up Pokemon, you know, those are always a little bit easier for me to draw than like a human or, you know, if I were to draw Ash or something on these pair of pants or pair of jeans. But nah, Ash ain't cool enough to be on these jeans, man. He's already been on enough jeans and t-shirts. We gotta throw in these homies right here. So here we got the final part, you know, just doing in the line work, repainting them. This time not drawing them in, but painting them in. Painting in that line work. And I actually use a little marker to kind of refine them at the end to make them look a little bit cleaner still. And they came out pretty good. I really like how these jeans came out. I feel like the blue really contrasts the maroon color of the jeans. It really made them pop out and they just, they just look dope, man. I think this is a pair of jeans I might stick with and I'm not gonna sell these. They're just gonna be for myself. I'll probably be rocking them out in public, you know, so people be like, damn, bro, where you get them Blastoise jeans? I'm like, man, I got these from myself, man. I made these myself i stitched them man i did everything i made these from the dirt now can i just painted these homie man you want a pair bro too bad no i'm just kidding for a low payment of two thousand dollars now i'm kidding if i were to sell these pair of jeans they'd probably be like 30 bucks they're honestly not as crispy and as fresh as i thought i was just kidding about the whole fridge thing they didn't stay fresh in the fridge man i was lying bro i'm sorry guys I lied to y'all, these weren't fresh, these actually got some like grease stains on them, they're, they're, they're not in the greatest shape, but they look nice on camera, especially when you zoom up on these parts, but anyways, here's a couple close-ups, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, what other cartoons would you guys like to see customized on a pair of jeans or jacket or anything, or on a canvas, let me know in the comment section below, what's your favorite Pokemon, what's your favorite evolution of Squirtle, let me know in the comment section below, thank you for stopping by, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Keep creating, keep the trail, till next time y'all, take it easy, until next time.